One of shapes and hybridization of these molecules. We have already calculated bond pairs and lone pairs in previous video. Now XCO2 F2. So in XCO2 F2 there are four bond pairs and one lone pair. So total sum is five. So if it is five, hybridization is sp3 d. d. We can use this formula as well. Like it is half. Valence electron on zero on eight. Monovalent atoms. Two. These are the monovalent atoms. Mm. Hydrogen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So number of monovalent atoms two. And there is no charge. Ca is charge on anion. Cc is charge on cation. If it is cation, we subtract it. If it is anion, we add it. And half the sum total, right? So total comes out to be five. And this total actually it is equal to sum of number of bond pairs plus number of lone pairs. In this way, we can calculate lone pair as well. Like we have four bond pairs, and total sum is five. five. So one lone pair. Now, how do we arrange it? Actually, total sum is five. So if they have five electron pairs. Around central atom, then shape is, uh, geometry is or arrangement is trigonal bipyramidal. Arrangement is Tri trigonal bipyramidal, and you know trigonal bipyramidal is like this. If we have only bond pairs, like A B five, only bond pairs, then three bond pairs are in plane that is trigonal. Trigonal, and these are two pyramids. So this is called trigonal bipyramid. Clear? It is like three in the same plane, one above the plane, other is below the plane. So these two bonds, they are known as axial bonds, and these are equatorial bonds. In equatorial bonds, there is angle of one twenty. And one is above the plane, other is below the plane. Now between axial bond there is one eighty degree angle, mm -hmm. but axial bond that form a bond with equatorial. What is that angle? Ninety. Ninety. So one axial bond form how many ninety degree bond? Three. Uh, three bond angle. Three. three. So that means there are three ninety degree bond pair bond pair repulsions for axial bond. Ninety mm -hmm. degree. Bond pair, bond pair repulsions for axial bond is equal to three. Three. What about equatorial? For equatorial bond, how many ninety degree bond pair, bond pair two angles? Two. 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 So ninety degree bond pair, bond pair for Equatorial bond is equal to two, and you know, bond pair repel another bond pair, and if angle is less, repulsion is more, because bond pair what is bond pair that is pair of electron, electron. so electron electron repel each other. That means which bonds are more repelled, axial or equatorial? As ninety degree bond pair bond pair repulsions actually, hmm. angle is ninety degree, so that is means ninety degree bond pair bond pair repulsion is there. Yeah. So ninety degree bond pair bond pair repulsion for axial bonds are equal to three three, three. and ninety degree bond pair bond pair repulsion for equatorial bonds two two, two. two. that means ninety degree bond pair bond pair repulsions are more, more. for axial bonds axial bond. So that means repulsion on axial bond is more than on equatorial. And as per Vesper theory, you know, lone pair, lone pair repulsion is more, more. than 
bond lone pair bond pair bond pair which in turn more than bond pair bond pair because bond pairs are between two atoms but axial bonds are large in size they are more means uh, occupy more surface area that's why lone pair lone pair repel more more than lone pair bond pair than bond pair bond pair so that means lone pair if in this setup we have a lone pair so lone pair prefer to occupy which position axial which is repelled. less repelled okay which is less less repelled, repelled. because lone pairs are repelled more, more. than bond pair bond pair so they try to occupy the position which, are, which has less, less repulsion. repulsion so you know equatorial position is well. so now as we have one lone pair so lone pair should occupy equatorial position equatorial clear now next option is oxygen form double bond hmm. fluorine form single, single bond. bond so now out of double and single which repels more double bond or single bond obviously double bond because double bond has two pairs two two pair hmm. so now if we arrange bond pairs you know axial bond are always bond pairs bond pairs axial positions are occupied by bond, bond pairs. pairs but if there is an option between double bond and single bond so double bond should be at equatorial, equatorial. and single bond Axial. So now we have two double bonds and two single bonds. bonds. So when we draw the shape of XCO2 F2, xenon is central atom. Hmm. One lone pair is there, hmm. and these are. Positions left. So double bond is on equatorial and single bond. So this type of shape is known as seesaw. It is trigonal bipyramidal. Arrangement is trigonal bipyramidal, but shape is seesaw. So whenever we have four bond pairs and one lone pair, then shape is seesaw. Now come to next example. Next example is ClF three, three bond pairs, two lone, two lone pair. Again same total sum is five. Five. And to calculate hybridization by this formula, five is then it is sp three b. But if we use this formula, then Chlorine has seven electrons plus three plus three hmm. monovalent atom. Ten so right five right. plus three, sorry seven hmm. plus, three. plus three. Ten. Ten divided by two. Two five. 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 That means sp three d p. Arrangement is again trigonal bipyramidal. Bipyramidal. Now if arrangement is trigonal bipyramidal, and we have two lone pairs, so lone pair occupy. Equatorial position. Equatorial position. Good. So two lone pair occupy equatorial position. One bond pair. Axial bonds are bond pairs. Bond pairs. But these bond pairs are slightly repelled to one side. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. XCL. CL. The only example was you know, okay, Cl F three. So two lone pairs and three bond, bond pairs. Bond. It is bent T shaped. We can say T shaped, but it is slightly bent, bent. because of these lone pairs, pair. which repel more than this bond pair. So shape is bent. Issue. So whenever we have three bond pairs and two lone pair, shape is bent T shape. Right? Now, next example. 
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज एक्सी एफ एन टू अगेन टू बॉन्ड पियर्स एंड थ्री लोन पियर्स टोटल सम इज अगेन फाइव हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एसपी थ्री डी बाय दिस फॉर्मूला वी नोन हैज एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू मोनोवेलेंट एटम एट प्लस टू टेन डिवाइड बाय टू फाइव फाइव सेफ राइट नाउ we have zeno hmm. arrangement is trigonal bipyramidal trigonal bipyramidal bi because total sum is 5 by hmm. now if it is trigonal bipyramidal and how many lone pairs are there three so hmm. lone pair occupy equatorial positions simply we have only three equatorial positions hmm. so all three are occupied by lone, lone, lone pairs pair. they are arranged symmetrically hmm. and two They are slightly longer hmm. because of pulses, hmm. but shape remains linear. Linear. So it is linear. Linear. Because of symmetrical arrangement of lone pairs. Okay. Yes. Sir. Now come to I three negative. So I three negative. I three negative is treated as I I two negative. negative. In previous video we have done it, right? Yes. Now we have two bond pairs and three lone pair. Same case. Hmm. To calculate this, again it is half. One iodine is taken as central atom. Hmm. Electron number seven. Seven. And monovalent atoms. Two. 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 Now see, all the three are iodine, hmm. but one is taken as central. Central atom. So. Atoms attached to it, monovalent atoms attached to the central atom mm -hmm. are two. Mm -hmm. Clear? Mm -hmm. So total seven mm -hmm. plus two, two. two. and One negative. Negative charge. Negative charge is added. added. So seven plus two plus mm -hmm. one. Clear? Ten. Electrons are added. Mm -hmm. Clear? Magnitude of charge. So total ten, ten divided by two to five. 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 And shape, we have already drawn same shape. And there is one negative yeah. charge like this, and it is linear. linear. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Next example. I X C O F four four X C O F four in X C O F four. We have five bond pairs, one lone pair. Total sum is six. 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 So sp three d two. Arrangement is octahedral. Mm -hmm. Whenever we have only six bond pairs, mm -hmm. arrangement is like this. If all are bond pair, then geometry is regular. Octahedral. To calculate hybridization by the formula used, it is half. How many valence electrons? Eight. Eight. How many monovalent atoms? Four. Very four. Good. Because oxygen is divalent. Divalent. So eight plus four, twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve divided by two. Six. Sp three D two. Arrangement is same, same, but we have now five bond pairs and one, one lone pair. Yeah. All positions are equivalent mm -hmm. because all the angles are ninety degree. degree. But we try to fix lone pair or double bond at these positions, right? So now come to X C O F four. So in case of X C O F four, central atom is C zero and four single bonds, hmm. one double bond, hmm. and one lone pair. Lone pair. So it is like this. Hmm. This shape is known as 
स्क्वायर पिरामिड गुड स्क्वायर पिरामिड दैट टेबल इज गिवन इन एनसीईआरटी यू कैन लर्न इट हाउ इफ वी हैव टू बॉन्ड पेयर्स थ्री लोन पेयर थ्री बॉन्ड पेयर टू लोन पेयर फोर बॉन्ड पेयर वन लोन पेयर एंड ऑल दैट टेबल इज गिवन सो यू कैन मी मग दोस शेप्स फ्रॉम देयर ओके सो इन केस ऑफ दिस वी हैव स्क्वायर पिरामिडल शेप नाउ एक्स सी एफ फोर अगेन टोटल बॉन्ड पेयर्स आर फोर लोन पेयर टू टू एंड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन सेम एट प्लस फोर राइट सो टोटल सिक्स एस पी थ्री डी टू अरेन्जमेंट इज ऑक्टाइटल बट शेप वेन वी ड्रॉ द शेप These four remains same. Mm. One double bond is replaced by lone pair. Mm. It is like this. So there is a symmetrical arrangement of lone pairs, mm. and due to this symmetrical arrangement of lone pair, shape is square, square plane. Mm. Right. Thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel.